If this doesn't apply to you, cool, awesome, keep it moving. But if this does apply to you, listen. We just have to be honest for a second. If you already have a list of five different retros you plan to get in 2023, but you claim you don't have money to invest in your future, you're lying. You're absolutely positively lying. And that's not to be mean to you. It's not that I think you're an untrustworthy person, but I absolutely think that's cap. And we can't start the year with this big of a cap. Like we just can't. Because saying that you don't have money for something when you're clearly buying something that you don't need any more of, I mean, how many of us have, you know, an excess amount of shoes? Raise your hand and all of you should be raising your hand because you likely have more than what you need. Therefore, you choosing to buy another pair of shoes or having five pairs in your mind that you want to pick up in 2023, not that it's bad to have wants, but also understand that it's a choice then for you not to invest in your future. And I know like we're not taught this in school. How many of you remember a class unless you were a finance major like myself where they actually went through understanding how important it was to take advantage of compound interest and time being your best friend in the market and how far a simple $200 a month could go for your financial future. You remember that class? I don't because we didn't have that class in high school. I had that class because I actually majored in finance. That's the only reason <laughs> that I actually uh, took that course and that was provided to me in an educational setting. But otherwise we don't discuss this. We don't talk about it. And that's unfortunate. That's honestly why my budgeting ebook is free. I've never taken a dime for it and I never will because I really do think it's how to manage your money, just the basics, is something that we should have learned in school. So my book doesn't dive into investing, but it absolutely touches on a budget, how to help yourself slowly get out of debt, and then from there, set up a, a actual line items where you can spend now for what you need, but also plan ahead for the future. So if you're ever curious, ever interested in that, my email is in the description box of every single video. But don't say that, hey, I wanna buy five pairs of retros, because let's just look at the cost of that. That's easily a thousand dollars for the year because the average cost of retros has gone up. If you haven't noticed, I'm sure you have about $200. Yeah, let's just go ahead. Let's just make it friendly. $200. So you're paying retail like a thousand dollars over the course of the year. Now, if you were self-aware, <laughs> hopefully you're going to be self-aware. Look at your income and then look at what you spend your money on and everything else outside of just these pairs that you want. And honestly ask yourself, is there, an, is there $100? I'm not even going the 200 route. Is there $100 there every single month that you can put into the market? And if you are honest, the answer is likely yes, because it's really just a choice of how we choose to spend our money. The same way it's a choice of what we choose to eat or if we choose to move for the day. We have to start taking better accountability for our choices in 2023. I've always thought this and listen, I haven't been someone that lives up to that all the time. It's why I say, hey, I'm telling, I'm saying this on video to young adults, so hopefully they do, they do better than what I did when I was uh, younger than what I am right now. But if you are budgeting and you're making that effort to put money aside for that pair that's coming out, that's dropping, and I don't care the brand, Nike, Jordan, Adidas, Puma, New Balance, doesn't matter. You're making the effort to put that money aside to chase pairs. Can you please also put money aside for future you? Future you is 1000% relying on you right now to be able to have something available when you're older. Like I, if you have kids, then great. I'm sure they're more than willing to help out in the future once they've established their own careers and lives. But I also don't think it's fair for you to just 100% rely on them. So 200, I, if you would like to go ahead and you know take that challenge of $200. Now, are you sacrificing something? Yeah no doubt you're sacrificing something you're sacrificing another pair that you could get i started doing that you guys were able to look at that entire series where i said hey i could have went for this pair on the secondary market but instead i paid down the, the principal balance of my student loan and then as i shifted from that i said hey i want to start investing in the market nike and adidas and i'm absolutely positively investing in the market you guys will see that here on the channel to really hopefully encourage you and it may not be nike and adidas to be quite honest with you it'll probably be a balance of a share of nike and then dollar cost averaging 
averaging into either the S&P 500, maybe a high end dividend um, index fund. I may do total world stock index funds just to spread it around and diversify. But just as I have money set aside every single month for either shoes or clothes or both, there's no reason for me not to do the same when it comes to my financial future. And this is outside of my 401k, right? If you have retirement funds set up through work, 401k, 403b, or if you have a self-employed retirement account set up, that's separate. I'm talking of being my own steward in terms of my money and having a Roth IRA. Now you can certainly max it out, max it out, and that's encouraged, uh, and that will be done. So there's plans for that for myself personally for this year and then for next year. But more importantly, please just make the effort and the choice to be as intentional with your personal finances as you are in chasing these payers. How many raffles do you enter? How many times do you tune into Sneakers Live heating up, hoping that you will uh, get a shock drop opportunity? We do so much just to be able to have these pairs. And it's not that I don't love pairs, guys. You guys have seen me unbox these sneakers. You've seen the excitement that I have, but I also want anyone that's watching the channel to be just as attentive to their finances as they are to whatever is on their feet. So if you already have five retros in your mind, I really do hope that you have uh, an intention to invest in you know the market for the long game not the short game this is not flipping and reselling sneakers for the long-term gain right now the biggest bargain you can get is in the market quite honestly like look at the discount for nike stock look where it was in january of 2022 and where it is now and i guess i have to say this is not financial advice but you can look and see what happens in the market over time versus those shoes you eventually have to give them away or they crumble and disintegrate because that's what happens so I appreciate you guys for tuning in to this video on Talks with TJ. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.